Well, if you have the chance to visit the Bristol Renaissance Fair, you will take a step back in time when knights were noble, maids were merry, and turkey legs were rather huge. Enter the <laughs> gates and you are in year 1574. I love those turkey legs. All right, every weekend this summer, you can rollick and romp with kings, queens, sword fighters, and jesters. And this morning, we welcome two very distinguished guests. We have the Lord Mayor of Bristol and the Mayor's wife, Lady Mayor of Bristol. <laughs> Thanks for being here, you Pleasure. guys. So how long have you been mayor? This is like a new thing for you. Incredibly oh. new, yes. <laughs> A day, maybe? Oh, okay. <laughs> Since you walked in the studio? Just got into office, okay. yeah. <laughs> Do they know that back at the Renaissance Fair that when you get back, you're still the lord and the lady? Absolutely. Oh, well, yeah. you see, I've been the wife of the previous Lord Mayor also. I kind of come with the office. Comes with the job, yeah. So, oh, yeah. right. You, you get around a little bit, huh? I don't oh. know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> She's passed down. <out. laughs> when people visit the Bristol Renaissance Fair and they, they, they happen to encounter the two of you, what will they experience as part of stepping back in this back in time um, fair? A little bit of fun, a little bit of frivolity, maybe a touch of history even, I'd say. A warm welcome. Mm, indeed. Oh, yeah. There's food. You have turkey legs mm, there? Many oh, great so foods. many different types of food. We have turkey legs, a new Middle Eastern booth, a new coffee house with hot and cold coffee beverages, all sorts. Anything that you could desire, we have in Bristol. Are these the new things that you're planning as mayor? Indeed, we've got ribbon cutting ceremonies on for the opening day, and you're welcome to come and check out what we've got available. What's super fun about this is that it runs all summer, so people can visit more than once. I think it's a fantastic thing to bring kids to. It's like immersing them in history mm -hmm. as they walk through, because it's like really going back to that day, right? Where we didn't have electricity and cell phones and computers. <laughs> Not at all. Nothing like what we've got now. Yeah, for sure. So um, what, do you th what do you think is the best way to take in the fair? Because this isn't your first rodeo, so to speak. Um, no, what's the all. best way to see and do the fair? Depends on what your interest is, in my opinion. If you're more interested in history, you can go visit the Guild of St. Michael and the Guild of St. George and the Guild of St. Lawrence. If you're more into excitement and adventure, you can see fire jugglers, you can see jousters, all sorts of different things for different styles of people. Indeed, hmm. don't forget the pub crawl. Ah, yes. Oh, oh. Yeah, I thought I might find friends here who are interested <laughs> okay. in this. We like that. We like that idea. <laughs> what do they do in the pub Crawl. What's that like? Oh, well, you can follow around four in Grimm and take you to each of the different pubs in Bristol, sampling the different ales that we offer there and also hearing raucous jokes and comedy. Oh, I bet there's some good jokes. <laughs> oh, indeed. indeed. Body as they get. <laughs> How about sword fighting? There's sword fighting. Do you have any sword swallowers? Do we have Not this year? I think there is a distinct possibility you may find something like that. We keep that under the table, you know, that sort okay. of thing. We don't bring it up. But they do sword fighting. Indeed, oh, Dirk and Guido are amazing swordsmen. Okay. So the fair is just opening now, right? And it runs all the way through Labor Day weekend. You're even open Labor Day weekend, right? This is correct, yes. 10 a.m. till 7 p.m., rain or shine. Saturdays and Sundays. Okay. Do you like kids there? Oh, love, we love them. them. Do you? Indeed. In fact, we have a new children's area this year. In addition is it under to your dress? Uh, no, although <laughs> I can fit that's a mini big children <laughs> underneath there. We call them minions when they're under there. <laughs> minions, right? God's breath. I step on them. I have to be <laughs> So a new children's area? Yeah, Mouseborough. We have our kids' kingdom, and in addition to it, a new area where all your favorite children's storybook characters come to life. Oh, yeah. so they get to interact with their the characters right out of a book. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Old Indeed. King Cole and such, Indeed. yeah. Indeed. Uh, Miss Muffet, mm -hmm. Winkin, Blinkin, and Nod. All, yes, indeed, they're all there waiting for children. Cute. <laughs> I love that. And kids can get in free coming up this weekend. Um, this weekend. That's correct. So anybody under 12 mm -hmm. inches. Nice. Just oh, kidding. Yes. 12 years. <laughs> 12 inches so you can or be 12 tall years. If you're 12 can get in free. It's this weekend, the 6th and the 7th. All children under 12 years of age can get in for free. And there's no coupon required. You just have to come in, show up, have fun. The Bring your still, ID. Yes. <laughs> Leave your cell phone at home. Remember, it's the 1500s. Yeah. All right. Here's where you can find us 120th Avenue in Kenosha. You can visit them online at renfair.com. The phone number on your screen for more information. And. We've got a giveaway, so if you want some tickets no. right now, you'll win a family four-pack. <laughs> Caller number 10 wins at 414-799-4444. Lord and lady, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Gold safe for queen. Yes. Gold safe for queen. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks, guys. Great to know. see you. Okay.